I'm offering myself for public office at this time because I appreciate the enormity of the task ahead owing to the level of damage that has been done to our country by this government. And I also know that such a mountainous task requires a steady, unifying and experienced hand to build the Ghana we want together. And as I said, this is no time for experimentation. Ghana at this time does not need a try me to leader. Our country at this time urgently needs a leader with an unwavering desire to get things done in a no frills, no thrills, business-like manner. Not one enamored with sloganeering, excessive partisanship, personal comforts, and shallow populism. Ghana's next leader should exercise sound judgment and be able to make the right calls at the right time. A leader who accepts responsibility and works to fix the problem, and not one who shifts blame onto others. The leader should be one whose heart is filled with compassion for the people, and who has the humility to connect with and understand the needs of the people he serves. Our country requires a visionary leader who will build a prosperous and progressive Ghana for all Ghanaians and not just a few family and friends.